We're here to look at why Manny Pacquiao's punch is so devastating. Now, there's lots of really complex physics involved, but I've managed to boil it down to a number of key equations. Now, the first one is something you might be familiar with, and that's force, and that's basically the push on an object. And that can be calculated by the equation force equals mass times acceleration. Now, the next equation is something that you might not be familiar with, and that's the equation for momentum. And that's equal to the mass times velocity. Now, momentum is a quantity that can be passed from one object to another object when they interact, when they come into contact. Now, a thing that, or a way that you might be familiar with is in snooker. You've got the white, the cue ball comes along, it hits the red ball, the cue ball stops moving, and it transfers momentum to the red ball, and that moves off. That's a good example of momentum being transferred from one object to another. Now, in boxing, you're transferring momentum from the boxer's fist to the opponent's head. And there's a good equation for that, and that is the change in momentum. And that's equal to the mass times the change in velocity over the change in time. Now, why Manny Pacquiao's so devastating when he hits someone is that he can make the opponent's head start moving at a really high velocity. He can also do this in a really short period of time. The impact time is really short. Now, what's interesting is that the change in velocity over the change in time is actually equal to acceleration. So, change in momentum is equal to mass times acceleration. And we can bring this back to our first equation, and that was force equals mass times acceleration. So what this tells us is, is that the force in a punch is equal to the change in momentum. Now we've just seen that Manny Pacquiao can make this change in momentum to be a huge number. And that means the force on the opponent's head is going to be huge. And that's why Manny Pacquiao's punch is so devastating.